In this lesson, we are going to revisit relations. So we have talked about them a little bit before, but this is still going to be a great introduction, even if you haven't learned anything about relations. A relation on a set, or a relation from one set to another, in this case A to B, is essentially a subset of A times B, or essentially what we're saying is we're going to have ordered pairs where the first value comes from set A and the second value comes from set B. So for instance, if I have that A is the set containing 1, 2, 3, and B is the set containing A, B, C, then notice it gives me a relation. And the relation includes, in this case, five ordered pairs. Now keep in mind, it doesn't include all of the ordered pairs, 1a, 1b, 1c, 2a, 2b, 2c, 3a, 3b, 3c, because it's a subset of a times b, which means it could contain all of them, but it doesn't have to. There's different ways that you might see this represented. So we might say that one maps to A, that one maps to B, that two maps to B, two maps to C, uh, three maps to A. So that's one way you might see this uh, portrayed. We might also see this where we'll put an X in the table if that value is there. So one A, yes, we have that in our relation. One comma B, yes, we have that in our relation. One comma C, we don't, so we're not gonna put an X there. Two A, we do not, but two B, we do, and two C, we do, and then three A, we do. So again, that's another representation you might see. And then we have one R A, so that's saying one is in the relation with A, but one is not in the relation with, with C. So the relation does not map one to C. Um, and then recall that if we're dealing with a function, a function is just a special type of relation where every element in B, the second set, is mapped to by only one element of A. So I did not give you an example of that, it's just a reminder. Uh, that a relation is just a little bit more general because it doesn't have that extra restriction. So if Adam takes discrete math programming and nutrition and Kevin takes discrete math and composition, give the relation from A to B, and again A would be Adam, Kevin, and B would be discrete math programming, nutrition, composition. So really what we would be doing here is just giving all of the ordered pairs. So I should have an ordered pair that maps Adam to discrete, and I should have an ordered pair that maps Adam to programming, and I should have an ordered pair that maps Adam to nutrition. I'm sure my brothers love that I use their names in my videos. And then I should, sorry Eric, I didn't include you on this one. <laughs> And then Kevin takes discrete, so again, that would be an ordered pair. And then Kevin also takes composition. So R would be the set containing all, oops, all of those ordered pairs. Let's take a look now at a relation where I am asking for a relation of a set upon itself. So now I'm just using A twice. And notice we have A is four elements, and we are going to list the ordered pairs that are in the relation, or in the set R, with this definition. So we're saying the relation is any ordered pairs a b and remember a b have to come from set a since this is a relation from a to a where a divides b so let's remember what it means to say that a divides b that means that if i took b divided by a then that solution has to be an integer so that just means that it has to go into it evenly where uh, there is no remainder. So let's take a look. I should have 1, 
comma 1 because again if I took 1 divided by 1 that's a whole number or that's an integer and if I took 2 divided by 1 that's an integer so I've got 1 comma 2 remember a divides B so we have to make sure we're putting this in the proper order and then 3 divided by 1 is 3 so 1 comma 3 and then 4 divided by 1 is 4 so 1 comma 4 so all of those including 1 or using 1 as a are in my relation now let's take a look at 2 could I take 2, 1 divided by 2, no, that's not an integer. Could I take 2 divided by 2? Yes, that's an integer. So now I have 2 comma 2. And could I take 3 divided by 2? Nope, that's not an integer. Could I take 4 divided by 2? Yes, I could. So 2 comma 4. So now let's look at 3. Could I take 1 divided by 3? No. 2 divided by 3? No. 3 divided by 3? Yes. So 3, 3. And then of course 4 divided by 3? No. And then I have 4. So I, could I take 1 divided by 4? No. 2 divided by 4? No. 3 divided by 4? No. But 4 divided by 4 is an integer. So this is just a listing of all of the elements in that relation. Let's just look at a couple of practice questions before talking about the properties of relations. So first, the question asks, how many relations are there from a set A to itself? So let's just assume that set A has N elements. So the cardinality of A is that it has N elements. Remember that a relation is just a subset of A times A, which would mean that this has N squared possible. Um, now we know that a set with M elements has two to the M subsets. We learned that a while ago because again, each element is either in the set or not in the set, and there are m elements. So in this case, we can say that a relation from set A to itself would have two to the n squared elements, or you might also see this written as two to the cardinality of A squared, which is really the same thing. Now let's look at a little more practical example. We're just asking, hey, here's some relations, one, two, three, and four. Which uh, relations contain the ordered pairs that I have given you? So if I have a relation um, one that says a comma b given that a equals b. So looking at my four ordered pairs, I can see that one one would be included in that relation but that the others would not because none of the other x and y values equal one another. For R2, R2 contains the ordered pairs A, B such that A is less than B, less than or equal to, excuse me. Less than or equal to, so that means one would be included, or one, one would be included because one is equal to one. One, three would be included because one is less than three. 2, 4 would be included because 2 is less than 4, but 2, 1 would not be included because 2 is not less than 1. For R3, R3 contains all of the ordered pairs A, B, such that A is greater than B, and that would be not 1, 1, and not 1, 3, and not 2, 4, but it would include 2, 1, that lonely little guy we left out last time. Now, before I look at that last one, I just want to um, specify, because I didn't before I started the question, and I apologize, notice that I did not tell you the values that are in set A and the values that are in set B. So in this case, I'm looking at the set of A and B, which are infinite sets that contain you know, all of the integers. Okay, so let's look at uh, R4. 
R4 is where A plus B is less than or equal to 3. So 1 plus 1 is 2. That's less than or equal to 3, so we're good. 1 plus 3, obviously, is not less than or equal to 3, so that's not good. 2 plus 4 is not less than or equal to 3. 2 plus 1 is 3, and that works because of that or equal to. Up next, we're going to explore some properties of relations.